I've removed all the white deposit that was on the surface here. So now this is clean and also the insides of it. The broken spring, <coughs> I've just arranged everything, arranged back and it looks like it's a three and a half inch length, three and a half inch length um, oil spring, which is uh, about 90 mm. And I've been looking around and I've probably found the most cost effective uh, replacement is this call spring, which is about slightly longer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just cut it down to size. So I have marked it with a little uh, marker here to the length so that I can um, use it to replace this um, spring so I know the uh, spring force might not be um, same but for this purpose of just rebuilding this um, old shop I don't think there's any issue and the uh, the difference is on the is basically on the pitch of the um, spring and also the uh, diameter of the coil itself so it's going to be a bit uh, harder spring and uh, be interesting to see what is the final outcome when i retrofit this back into the um, shockers and i'll cut this to length so that um, as much as possible to get it close to the original length of the spring so this is the shortened spring and now i can actually fit this in then um, fit this inside and after that just um, put back everything together again the actual size diameter of the rubber damper um, which is inside was which originally fits the original spring is actually slightly um, smaller than the diameter of the spring the internal diameter so i had to actually sand this down a little bit using the descender to um, allow it to fit into this okay so it's about one about one mm all around so now that it fits and i can actually put it back into the the shaft okay it's the spring and the two ends i actually use a press feed method on the vise to press the two ends together and now they are secured on the two ends and the little rubber damper inside this is the reassembled um, negative coil spring shaft in the air section of the shockers this is this spring i've replaced the spring and it's not 100 percent uh, equal it has the same outer diameter but the um, pitch is slightly different but it's okay i mean for for this purpose of um, rebuilding an old shop so i think this is okay and i've already press fitted the two ends together on a vise and now this is what it is this is what it looks like and i can't wait to put it back into the um, shock absorber finally the foam seal has arrived and this is the foam seal that we have ordered to replace the damaged foam seal the foam seal comes in a pair so this is the foam seal that we're going to use to replace on the Duke C shock absorber. I can't wait to put this on into the shock absorber and reassemble the whole fork. These are the two pieces and the also the rubber o-ring to mark the position of the suspension. Now I'm going to slowly um, reassemble the Duke C shockers and I have arranged the two sections, two sides, the parts that forms up the two sides of the suspension. We have here is for the oil side and this part is for the air side of the suspension. So you have all the components laid out here and these are basically the parts that form up the um, oil suspension section and this is the section that forms up the air section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, slowly reassemble this 
section of the shockers then we will assemble the oil section then we will install it into the uh, extension itself followed by the uh, negative spring part of the air section of the shockers after which we will um, proceed to reinstalling the seals then we can put it back together again and see if everything works fine i have laid out here the two key sections which is the negative spring section and this is the fixed damper section so first we're going to reassemble the components which makes up the fixed damper so the fixed damper has a little group here these four components form up the lower group which actually controls the amount of um, oil flowing in and out from the lower section to the top part of the shockers and then the two component to lock the whole assembly in place to the extension so let's reassemble let's reassemble first these four parts here okay so you have this um, circular plastic disc with uh, four slots holes here then what we do we put this ring washer on top of it then we put the spring okay this is curly spring here so the order is the plastic the round washer then the spring and then this goes into the um, housing which holds it in place like that okay when you only clip in place you'll be able to see the um, washer itself covering the holes of the four slots so this is basically how the oil actually gets controlled to flow from the lower section and to the top section of the uh, suspension so we'll leave it as that first now we're going to reassemble the top section here so this top section here comprised of the tube then the tube with the washer um, o-ring section pointing down we will push it in this way there's a little uh, feature here at the top this will go in all the way in and we will just press it in place like that okay and the last part here we need to do, put a bit of force to push it all the way to the end okay. make sure this fully uh, compressed in then this little part here at the back which has little uh, lever looking um, grip here you can adjust put it back into this slot like that okay so this forms up the top section now what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert this back into this tension then we will secure this portion from the bottom of this tension so we're going to take this the tension itself so with this tension oriented to the right direction this is the towards the front of the bike we will just put this in place all the way in so before we do that we're going to apply some lubricant around the o-ring i'm going to use a normal lubricant for bikes so this red color lubricant lubricant so i'm just going to wet the lubricant over here like that i usually wear gloves to protect my hands against the uh, oil what we'll do once we've lubricate the o-ring we're going to push this into the extension like that okay you slowly push it in and you leave this portion exposed like that so you can actually see the fixed damper top section is really in now what we're going to do is we're going to insert this circlip into the first there's two grooves here in, in, inside here there are two grooves the inner groove and the outer groove this first circlip will go into the inner groove then we have this washer followed by that pre-assembled part inside like that then we have the next circlip holding in place these two set of circlip will uh, eventually hold this piece of module inside here in between so first what we're going to do is i need to insert this first circlip into the first slot which is inside there hopefully you can actually see it let me reposition the camera okay it's actually can you see the second there's a second slot inside with the circlip tool i'm going to reinsert back the circlip into the first inner groove i'm going to press this and i'm going to insert and i'm going to let go okay so now the circlip is back in place into the first groove in there you can actually see hopefully the camera if the camera can see it okay you can actually see the circlip now is inside okay so we can actually use the inner uh, this rod to push and slide the inner circlip into place so now it's in place right 
so it's stuck there now now we can put in this round washer followed by this pre-assembled um, unit that we have assembled earlier like that okay this will just go in there so one that goes in place can use this circlip tool and put the circlip back in place like that okay so just make sure the circlip is in place the rod remains there stuck there and doesn't come off so now this portion is already assembled now let's focus on to the negative spring section which is the air side of the suspension we're going to turn this around similarly we're going to take the rod the negative spring assembly we're going to apply some lubricant onto the o-ring so in this case the o-ring looks like it's still okay so i'm not going to change the o-ring at this time i'll apply the grease onto the o-ring then we can insert this into the air side of the suspension so slowly it will just slide in like that so there is another o-ring which is going into the bottom of this negative spring section like that okay or just push it in so now we're going to put back this the rest of the components similarly there are two circlip slots in the inside grooves so we're going to push this in then we're going to position the first circlip into the first groove inside so if you can see there's a first groove inside then followed by the second groove once we assemble this circlip will actually hold this curly washer looking spring and this piece of cap and finally this circlip so this will actually sit inside at the end of this um, stanchion so I'm, what i'm going to do now i'm going to push put these parts back inside you, using the same technique with the circlip tool we will insert the circlip into the first groove inside like that Then after that, we will put in this curly washer. So this curly washer actually sits nicely in there like that. Okay. And this will go in followed by the white, this white piece here like that. Okay. So again, finally we have the outer circlip. So we use this circlip tool like that and put this back in the back section of this stanchion. Okay, so just clip it in place. Make sure that the circlip is sitting properly into the groove. It's very important so that it doesn't move or misplace when it's, assemb it's, it's assembled so just for precaution i'm just going to push with a piece of rod to make sure this um, the inner circlip sits properly inside this section so this is this negative spring module and i'm just going to press this with a wooden dowel Okay, to make sure this is in. Okay, as you can see, the circlip popped out. So I need to reassemble again to make sure this portion of the circlip at the back is properly inserted.
okay now it's in place so when you push and you push from the inner section here okay both the negative spring and also the fixed damper is now in place so we can now insert this back into the lowest then after that we will do the whole process of the the seals and the cover and so on then we can screw back these two portion these two end back into the lowest of the suspension we just want to inspect and check and make sure the circlip on both side of the fixed damper and also the negative spring has been fully sitting properly and installed then we'll just put this aside and we're going to focus on preparing the lowest with the oil seal the dust cover then after that we will reassemble two units together